Good Sunday morning, everybody, and happy, happy weekend to you. Hope you've got your coffee. We've got a coffee with the commission edition coming up momentarily. Coffee and donuts in hand. Hey, I went and got the kids donuts this morning. Didn't have a donut. Good morning, JC. Also, shout out to Extreme UW and Cody Koshin. Thank you both. Dropping Optimus Prime on your wee whittle heads. Who poked my whittle head? You bad Optimus Prime. Caramel Star Marks Triple Shot Boom. Now, if that won't get you going throughout a day, I don't know what will. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, Optimus Prime being dropped on you twice would be a double out. Be honored if you would join us. Or it will cause Mile High Madness as Mile High Madness has just hit the follow button and we thank you for doing that. Because uh, the litter box gets crowded from time to time and we need to expand it. If you have a donut, just do me advice. If you drop it in a litter box, don't pick it back up because I can't promise you that that's not a donut that you grab. Yuck. A flippin' triple shop might be needed today. Nope. What, what, what the heck was that? I think that was me hitting a button completely by accident. It's just trying to get things adjusted. Get it? Adjusted? No? All right, gang. I think it's time. Let's go while we're young. I know. Really? Shall we? Let's! <laughs> Welcome. Come in. Uh, fresh victims for my ever-growing army of the undead. Sir, you have to let go of the button. Oh, son of a bitch! Perfectly placed mug. It's coffee with the commish. It is the Fluffy Kitty Ninja Show. And poggers! Poggers, I've got a double shot because... Mrs. Kamish was kind enough to make a big batch of brew because she knows after drying so much yesterday, oh, dear Lord, again, you will buy, uh, you know what? We should do that because, you know, it's not just that. She also puts the nice little kitty scratch marks on there on the back end. So we should work on that. We really should. We will. Anywho, well, Jason has gone big. Jason has gone big time here in on the heist. He is ready to go. No, 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 you're doing it all wrong. What? What are you talking about? Pay attention when I'm talking to you, boy. I am. Jeez. Jeez, come on. He's such a bully, isn't he? Boy's got a mouth like a cannon, always shooting it all. Yep, indeed, indeed. Put the MLB on the bottom and the glass, and it's sexy time, huh? Boom, boom. Hey, everybody, welcome. If you've never been here before, well, just tilt your head and be, but enjoy nonetheless. It is the Fluffy Kitty Ninja Show, the home of the EMLB universe. What the heck do those two have in common? Absolutely nothing, but who gives a crap? Because one's adorably cute and my daughter named it, and the other is something I've been doing for two plus decades. Just doing it on Twitch here finally over the last, yeah, what, three years now? Good morning, everybody. Nice to have you here. EMLB Winter League finals are up and about. The Pittsburgh, and we really mean Pittsburgh Pirates, because probably half of this roster will be making the majors this season. That's a good sign for Cody. Uh, they will be taking on Les Expo. Holy crap, what a debut for Gambutrum's team in their first formal tournaments. For those who are like, what are you talking about? Well, 
It's because we expanded EMLB this past season. We added two new teams. We added the Montreal Expos for the first time back in EMLB since going back to the 1.0 era of 2004 real life year. That's the year we also changed and included e, uh, uh, changed Montreal to Washington. So the Expos are back and they're front and center here in our finals. Portland Stags are our other team. And just as a reminder, it's not like they played terrible. Oh, wrong button. Uh, they didn't play terrible. Here they were, 17 games. They were four games out of being in contention for the playoffs here, which was a best of four in this round, Robin. This is all about cash for these teams. Here is where we are. These are the four teams that made our playoff format. It is the Cincinnati Reds who fell to the Pirates. Reds will be considered fourth by way of this tournament because they were the fourth seed coming in, and it's all based on record. So that means the Cincinnati Reds will make $2 million for uh, getting into fourth place. Rangers will finish third with $2.5 million of team cash to be added for them to spend as they wish. Uh, and they just spent pretty heavily as I completed their offseason training this morning. Or mostly, as a courtesy reminder, a couple offseason trainings ago, we set limits on which players you are permitted and players can refuse training. If OSA says a player under 33 years old is 65 current rating and 65 potential, they'll be like, nah, I'm good, bro. It is, it is put in that place because the only thing I was seeing all of you predominantly do, and I mean most all of you, you were just investing in your stars. And there's a point in time that that just defeats the purpose and I just wanted to turn the dang thing off. Best thing I could have done was put measures in place on when they can opt out. Not many of you have missed that, but a reminder, if you have a player that from an OSA scouting perspective is 65 current and 65 potential and above, both have to be above, then that player is like, I don't need it. And they have the right. That's the players union telling you, no best than something else. You've got so many effing players. So this was the intent of offseason training. Make your role player a little bit more valuable to you. Take your reliever and possibly turn him into a starter because he's one pitch away maybe from being a pretty solid starter in your rotation. That's what the intent was behind the whole OST. Sean Paxler, thank you, sir. Appreciate the gifting over to Phoenix. As Phoenix jumps in on the boss battle, appreciate you doing that, uh, as always. And uh, the other part of that, again, for that, that's for any player. 65 over, that's for any player. When it comes to a player who's 33, though, we pick the measures a little differently because they're older. And it's, again, the idea of not necessarily letting them have massive longevity, although we did slow down the decay, decay process. We're trying to make sure that if their OSA is north of 58 on both, and that's the key thing you have to understand in the rules. The rules were designed so that both OSA and uh, the current and potential are over certain limits. At 33, it's 58 and over. But for any uh, player that's 32 and under, April 1st is our target date of what we define as an age, for those of you right on the fence, uh, 65 and over. So again, note that that changes constantly, but it's at the time of the submission, that is the determination on whether or not a player is eligible. So I've only seen a few players not be eligible and ask you to go back to the well and change it. But let's keep that in mind as you guys start to do that. A deadline will be announced this week. One reason why you haven't seen a schedule beyond today yet is we're working on, we're trying to work on having a schedule and it's being created from scratch, all thanks to Anju Pays. The problem is 
he's had to start over a few times and it's gotten a little frustrating so we're going to we're not missing a lot of time this week but let's just say after winter league's done we may have 24 to 48 hours before another sim gets done stay tuned we'll let you know very shortly hey ken is here cody is here that's great so we've got the expos and the pirates we are doing this more in quick sim format it's my son's final weekend of hockey he won four to three yesterday in their final phl game uh he's got an exhibition game against the fellow uh, uh, uh club organization today uh but then he has his middle school game tonight and last middle school game he played on a team with three goalies he's like hey boys take the night off 23 saves and he had a two nothing shutout they let him see the whole thing through that was awesome he's been on a roll of late so uh we're doing this in quick sim format but if we get to a game five we'll be a little bit more in depth on it so uh as always especially with both of my gms here uh ken's here cody i believe you're here we're gonna give you guys the right as always to tweak this around after each sim day, we will check in EMLB and see if any additional signings have happened. Still an offseason, still free agency taking place. But right now, the stars are tomorrow, shining bright today. Here we go, game one, getting ready to get started. Let me remove myself so you can see a little bit better. Um, hey, gang. Does someone want to keep bets for me? I'll let you do a little betting today. Thank you, Minerva. I appreciate it. Here's the bet. It's as simple as this. Who's winning? Pirates or Expos? There's no additional bonus bet. It's just, who's betting? Pirates or Expos? 50 balls of yarn. You're right. You get... So it's simple. You're right, you win 50. You're wrong, you lose 50. Simple as that. All right, quick works for you. That's good. So let's start with you, Ken. Do you have any change you want to do? You've got Gene Hughes schedule. Let me show you, remind you what you've got looked here. So if you want to see your options... You don't have 50 anymore. All right. Well, Mr. Audit's going to have to go to the uh, to the uh, craft store bank, apparently. Pir Cody is already saying thank you. Uh, no changes during the whole series. Just let it ride. And Ken says he's good. So you know what? I am uh, under two minutes away from a commercial. So let's do this. That's the bet. Announce who you think is going to win. I may do something in the middle of uh, our commercial break, too, because you degenerates have really missed the debauchery of being able to, tr uh, uh, to bet, apparently. Ugh. Where's DraftKings when you need it for EMLB bets, right? Stick around, gang. We'll get the commercial out of the way. Keep on putting your bets in for 50 balls of yarn. Who's winning this series? Is it uh, Montreal or is it Pittsburgh? We'll be right back and get game one immediately underway. Don't go far. Back live for the start of our winter league festivities. It's the finals. The Expos. The expansion extra expos getting ready to take on the Pittsburgh Pirates. We started off here at Constellation Field as where the heck am I? Here I is. Hey, hi. It's Chris Shell be back here with you as we get ready to look at this game. This will be a quick sim game uh, again unless we go a little further down the road here. So, uh, Mario Murray is a 1.0 player, 2-0 this uh, winter league with a 2.76 ERA. He did play as high as AAA last season, acted more as a closer in the uh, lower minors, had 23 saves for AA Altoona before the call-up to Indianapolis. Murray, with the start, you see the defensive alignment in this one. 
Uh, the eyes will be on Ismail Bracamontes, the DH, and all the power that he has brought into this entire series. All right, gang. Your ad popped up for like a second and then disappeared. All righty. Let's uh, do the quick simming. Uh, also, let me make sure I turn off AI and AI. Cody said, let it ride. All right. Time to advance. We'll look at the game log to see how plays develop towards the end of each game. If it's real close, we'll go live to see what th how things develop. No score starting off for Montreal. Another 1.0 name. It's Gene Hughes gets the start in this one. Did uh, have three games. One for the Orioles this season in six starts. 5.23 ERA. Yep, that is for the series. I have one twist on it. Once this game is done, I will allow bets, but only for 25 balls of yarn. So Minerva, make a note. Until this game is done. Oh, wait. Until this game is halfway done. Let's do that. After the fifth... There will be, uh, any bets put in will only get 25 balls of yarn. And then at game two, halfway through, that's when all bets are locked down. So that'll give some additional stragglers wanting to bet today coming in. Simple as this. Just put Pittsburgh if you think Pittsburgh wins, or Montreal if you think Montreal wins. 50 balls of yarn are at stake for you. Right now. Uh, I see, speaking of cash, $3 million for the Mets. Got it. Thank you, Minerva. All right, to the second. Two, nothing for Les Expo. How do they do it? Uh, it starts with Jaheim Underdu striking out. Logan Nutsman, Nutsy Poo, gets a single. A fly out for Tyler Bradshaw. There's two committed created players. Single for Ralph East gets runners to first and second. And Don Kuhn hits a double towards uh, left field. And uh, let's see. Nutsman scores. East scores to get a 2 nothing lead. Uh, total cash being won. The winner of this series will win $5 million. Runner-up will get $3.5 million. So you're both assured $3.5 million. Just a matter of who wins five million dollars total. Two nothing still to the third. Three nothing. Expos coming out solid to start it off. Alfredo Herrera led off with a single. Spike Bennett did strike out looking. Joe Lynch another one point over with a double. He'll score Herrera who comes all the way around uh, from first to score and get a three nothing lead. 3-1. No surprise. This is the most potent offense that we have had so far in Winter League in Pittsburgh. Gene Hughes back on the hill. Patrick Hart singled. Papa Vaz got a single as well. And then uh, with two on, a fly out from Allen Leonard. It was uh, towards third base. A pop-up. That was caught. No one advanced. Uh, let's see. A fielder's choice for Brett Andrews got Hart to third. So we have runners at first and third with two outs. Johnny Casagnosi's single will score hard to get him on the board. Well, good luck to you on your three teams making the playoffs. Got a thing one could make the World Series, right? Well, it's too bad I didn't put my lineup in for like the umpteenth week. Perfect team loses my interest so freaking fast. I just don't know what it is. It's me. I know it is. It's not you. It's me. Look at Ben being a fluffy kitty veteran now. All right. We're getting towards the end of the fifth. Thank you, Minerva. We are to the fifth. After these two quick sims. Bets put in for your team. I said your uh, thank you. Is you Are you deaf? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well,
Well, you said all uh, 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 got me on the lineups. What are you talking about? No one changed anything, so I might be confused. Oh well, I, I I didn't realize we were talking about my perfect team because I haven't touched it in a millennium. I don't even think they know where the baseball field is. Tell you, well, maybe that's it. Maybe I need to jump on EVC's theme team stream, uh, approach, and maybe that'll make it more worthwhile. Because the whole, I never even did baseball cards. Well, I, I say that, and I got a box of them somewhere, and who knows? Maybe I've got a rookie worth 500 bucks. So, uh, but who knows? All right. Here we go. In three, two, one. Last chance on bets. It's 3-3 now. And bets put in from this moment on are only 25 balls of yarn you can win until the end of the fifth and the next one. There's It's as simple as this. Who is winning this best of five series? Right now it's tied. Bottom of the fifth. Papa Vaz singled. But a double play from Alan Leonard clears the bases. Brett Andrews with a two-out double. Johnny Casagnosi doubles to score Andrews. And Bill Parker gets a double to replace him at second. Casagnosi is scoring to tie it at three. All right, so 25 balls of yarn for anyone who has not bet yet in this game as we continue. 3-3. Three, three. Dear Lord, that's got to be worth something. It'd be worth more if it was signed by Carl. Carl Yastrzemski. Carl Yastrzemski. That song's is stuck in my head all the time. Anyway, 4-3 now, Pittsburgh. Uh, let's see. Zimisha grounded out, so what out? I'll get that guy's name right once, uh, once this millennium. Patrick Hart has a single. Dave Schaefer comes in to take over for Gene Hughes. And a fly up. Felt a draft all of those. Like, what the heck? I knew it. I <laughs> knew I felt something. I wasn't looking. You just <laughs> know. You just have that feeling that there's a stalker about you. And even when you look this way, you know it's still there. Jeez. Yeah. Watch your language, bud. We're on the air. Hi, Grumpy. We we saw your player the other day as uh, the goaler is over my shoulder. All right. So, Yastrzemski grounded out. Hart got a single. Papa Vaz flew out. So, with two outs, Alan Leonard will get Patrick Hart scored all the way from first. Uh, it, oh, and... Well, they, Leonard tried to make it a, uh, to third, and he got thrown out to run him out of the inning. Dominic Hasek LeBlanc? No, no, he doesn't go Aguilera. by that. He goes by, yeah, you heard it. Aguilera! Aguilera. Aquiera. <laughs> Aqua Velva. No. <laughs> he gets so mad when I mispronunciate his name, so... <laughs> All right, to the seventh we go. It's 4-3 Pittsburgh now as they've uh, picked up the offense here in the last two. Seventh inning stretch time. I was born. That's all you get in an abbreviated version. Where someone stuffs a cork in Ty Webb real quick. Oh, wait, we forgot the yodels. They, hey, they're, trying, they're trying to fight right through it. <laughs> I was boo. <laughs> Four, three. Now, still, as we'll head to the eighth, Kobe, uh, Corey Tobias coming out for the Pirates in this one. Stays four, three. Hey, is John Doxakis the most interesting man in EMLB? Four three, top of the ninth. It's close. Corey Tobiasen is staying out. Logan Nutsman Nutsy Poo wants to see if he can start something up here. Let's go live. It's an 0-2 pitch. Well, if you don't take the bat off the shoulders, you can't get anything done. It's as simple as that. Hi, Sam. Uh, I'm not. We don't have an exclamation player uh, uh, thing. I'm not sure what you're looking for on that one. 
Are you looking for the site? I don't know if you're still in our Discord or not. I apologize. I uh, haven't seen many people leave of late. But, uh, one out now, top of the ninth. It's Jorge Cerna coming in as a pinch hitter. Cerna just three for 11 during Winter League action. First playoff spot for him. It's so a 2-1 pitch from Tobiasen. He will ground it over to second base. Good range to his left. J.R. Frankenstero will get it done. Montreal down to their final out. Ralph East will try to keep her going. It's one for two today. A 1-2 pitch. He will strike him out with the slider. Emotional damage. Game one will be one for the Pittsburgh Pirates as they will defeat the Expos by a 4-3 score. Let's look and see what happened here. Uh, again, Expos looked confident to start off right away as they had a 3-0 lead. Uh, uh, Pirates came back to score one at the bottom of the third and then in the middle of innings. No, uh, bets until the end of the fifth, Minerva. For anyone who still wants to bet, we will go until the end of the fifth in game two. No clue why he started, but you'll take it. You can't change anything if you want. I know you said you're good for the series. Just please give me a little bit of heads up so I'm paying attention because otherwise I'm just going to go right through it. All right, any key standouts here? No one had multi-hits for the Expos in the seven hits that they had. Uh, for Pittsburgh, you had Johnny Cassignosi, two for four. He had two RBI, including a double. Uh, there were no home runs on the day from either side. Uh, Patrick Hart, Papa Vaz with a couple hits as well. On the pitching side, Mario Murray went seven innings, six hits, three earned runs. He walked one and struck out nine. No, it is not game by game. It was just for the series. Perter, Bereno, or Wayne is not listed to start. Start shopping. So if, I, if I'm understanding, if I see a name that's not one of them, then put Sharpie in, in uh, as the guy there. Gene Hughes, uh, oh, 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 he's here, so we'll say, does Mario Murray get the Bill Doran special? Greetings from Key West, Billy. Or that's what you should be saying. I'm saying it for you like I'm in Key West. I wish. Gene Hughes, five and a third, nine hits, four earned runs. He walked one and struck out three. Uh, uh, he had uh, Dave Schaefer come in after and pitched an inning in two thirds. Good. Too hot out here. 75 to 80 is too hot for you? Jeez, you've gotten old fast. <laughs> John Duxakis, the most interesting man in EMLV. One inning of work. He did allow a hit, but he got the job done for Montreal to at least keep him close. Breaking news. LB accidentally confirms well-known EMLB conspiracy theory that he's two people. Yeah. Watch your language, bud. We're on the air. The duck speaks sign language. Make a note. All right. Corey Tobias in two innings of work. He had six saves during Winter League round robin format. Well, he gets his first playoff one here. Oh, and just a hit. Striking out five. That sounds like a Godzilla mode for two innings on a reliever. And yes, be clean. Wash your hands when you're through. Yes. All right. Let's get this one done. One game in the books. It's a one nothing lead for Pittsburgh in this best of three uh, to the offseason center. Sanitize, sanitize, always sanitize. Let's do the quick up. Someone slows us down. Kevin, you should be able to go to triple A without being told, sir. <laughs> Uh, Mandy Alvarez, same. Anybody else? Anybody else want to limp? Nope. No one else will hold us up. There we go. Onward!
Fluffy Kitty Ninja. Coffee mugs. Hey, Mrs. Kamish. Yeah, baby. I've heard some people say they would like to buy one. Take down names and stuff. If you heard it from the source, take down names and stuff. <laughs> for your very own Fluffy Kitty Ninja coffee mug. Kitty scratches and all? Probably. All right, day done, and no new signings have taken place yet, at least at the major league level. A uh, few in, uh, uh, international players. Shut up and take my money. All right, well, I'm not going to remember you guys from there, so do me a favor. Send me a DM telling me that you have interest in the Mrs. Kamish coffee mug, and we'll start to work on those. All right, let's see. Uh, injuries, anyone do some freak stuff? Nope, no one further since Eduardo Rodriguez got himself electrocuted. Final reminder, don't do your own home repairs there, EMLB virtual players. You make money. Hire a professional, because you're not. FKN hockey jersey just saying, oh my God, don't get my wife thinking too much because she'll do it. She'll do it. Hockey mom and all. We're watching college hockey last night. Not one player on the ice we, we, we know or have a vested interest in. And my wife just looks at me and says, God, I love hockey. And I was like, yep. She's giggling in the background. Still funny to say that, you know, a good uh, dozen years or so ago, she didn't know the difference between a red line and a blue line. She'd be the first one to climb over a board now. And she almost did yesterday with this certain ref in the game. And she almost climbed over a board. It was like, I'll show you what an interference is. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to the action. Uh, 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 no, not the injury report. To the action. Game number two. We shall do. Let me remove myself again. Uh, Ken, would you have anything that you would like to do? Would you like to make a change vous sir? Oh, yes. I, I didn't get to see that game. Of course, I watched the Bruins play at uh, Fenway. God, that's awesome in itself. Figured it would be below freezing. It was a beautiful day out there for that. Uh, Ken may not be here anymore. I know he's out in the country. Oh, he good. All right, he good. Joe Olney of course, was one of his top selections here in winter uh, in the uh, expansion draft. Yeah, he's done pretty good. 5-0, 406 CRA, but he's done pretty good for uh, trying to prove that high of a selection on him. Eric Barreno, so if I remember right, Cody, Barreno is one of your, if this guy is on my list, you're good. If not, Perder, Barreno, and Wayne, I will forget that later like now correct all right i'm trying my best so lineups are good we want what we've got and we'll move on to game number two shall we shall we all right Let's get ready for game number two. Eric Moreno's 1-0 oh with uh, one earned run allowed in six innings thus far. Uh, he was 4-0 oh with a 272 ERA during Winter League's round robin. All right, we move on. Let's get her started. No score through one. After the fifth inning, if you're just coming in, you have until the fifth inning to put a bet in, and the bet is simple. Who's winning the series, the best of five? Montreal or Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh leads one game to nothing right now. 
if you're right and Minerva, make a note. Just put an asterisk and put a, uh, uh, not an asterisk, put a one in parentheses to tell me that a person made a bet after the fifth inning so that I know that it's only a 25 ball of yarn bet. So again, you're right on your series guess. You win 25 balls. You're wrong. You lose 25 balls of yarn. Just trying to take care of your degeneracy, gang. All right, second inning we go. No score. Nope, sorry. It's now bottom of the second, and it's 2-0. How do the Pirates do it? Well, a solo home run for that punk. No, really, he's a punk. It's punk 42's J.R. Frankenstetto going deep down in the left field. And then followed up by Brett Andrews' back-to-back -back home runs. Yeah, yeah, get up there and wham! A homer! Wham! Another homer! Wham! 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 What? All right, big shot. So you think you can beat it yourself? Well, you got yourself a game. All right, I could do that forever. 2 nothing after Pittsburgh's back-to-back -back jacks from Frankenstetter and Brett Andrews. Which team said Brett Andrews would look good in their jersey? I forget. Someone said that, and I was like, hmm, collusion? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 3 nothing. Pittsburgh adds on. Uh, yeah, you know what? You're right. It was it was Hebrew. As soon as you said fairly probably, yep, it was. Another home run. This time it's Patrick Hart. So, Cody, is it just me or do you also have the yes song in and you say owner of a Patrick Hart? Owner of a Patrick Hart. Much better than an owner of a stinky fart. No? Is that just me? Probably. All right. On we go. This works weird sometimes. 3-1 Montreal back on the board. How do they do it? Well, they had a double with one out. Tyler Bradshaw gets the second. Joe Lynch with a single, getting Bradshaw to score in from there. And that'll get them on the board. It's 3-1 here. Bottom of the fourth. Uh-oh, Pittsburgh woke up. Four in the bottom of the fourth. Papa Vaz gets a freaking home run. Placata! As Papa Vaz is famous for saying when he hits one on MLB The Show, he'll yell, Placata! He got one here as he starts it off. Then uh, with one out, a double for Patrick Hart. Ismir Bracamontes gets another double to send him home. Jameer Pennant comes in as a pitcher. Doesn't matter. Bill Parker triples and Bracamontes will score from there. And Mikey Shimashka will get a ground out scoring Bill Parker. I'm wondering if there is anybody in this channel that when I try to say this name is like, what is wrong with this guy? Doesn't he know how to say that name? That's the joke, guys. I'm a New Englander. Anyway, here's your last chance. It's 7-1. If you're coming in late before this fifth inning is done and you want to bet, yes, bet. Embrace your inner Pete Rose. It's been a little while. I understand. You've got one chance to either say Montreal wins the series or Pittsburgh wins the series. Reminder, Pittsburgh up 1-0 in this best of five so far. Leads this one seven to one. This is your last chance. It's seven to three. You got just a little longer because once the bottom of the fifth is done, you're done with betting today, you degenerates. All right, bottom, uh, top of the fifth. You had Ralph East get aboard, then Wally Oliver goes deep. No, there's still bets, Minerva, for like three more seconds because I'm milking it in five four three two one and a half 
seven eight. One and thirty seconds. All right, you're done. Ten three. Bets are over. Minerva's right. Bets are over. No more bets. Uh, I see a three-run homer from some guy we've never heard from before. I think the guy's pretty good. I think he's pretty good. Single for Alan Leonard. Pop out for Sam Faith. You gotta have Sam, Sam Faith. You gotta have Sam, Sam Faith. Baby. I'm sorry. I should just get up and let you watch my button jeans and pretend to play a guitar, but George Michael does it better. Uh, Johnny Casagnozzi flies out to center. So with two outs, Patrick Hart. Well, never walk, guys, with two outs because then Israel Bracamonis is just going to beat the absolute living piss out of the ball. Watch your language, bud. We're on the air. Hey, Daff. We name our community, the community, the chat is called the litter box. What do you think gets done in it? It's not a swear, just because it's a four-letter word. Jeez. All right. Ten, three here through five. Yes, this pit offense is killer, but I honestly think this pit offense has the most major league-ready talent of any other team out there in regards to full depth of it. We'll just have to see how it translates when it gets to the majors, but I got to think Cody is feeling good coming into the season with how his guys have been running here. Mix them with the regular lads, and let's see what we get. All right, to the bottom of the six, Dave Dodd on the hill for Les Expo. Still 10-3 to three to the seventh. Hey, Montreal is no slouch themselves. Four on the board for them. Let's see how they do it. Wally Oliver gets a homer. Don Kuhn will strike out the single for Irving Hart. A double for Alfredo Herrera will score Hart. There's two. Then Tyler Bradshaw, community created player of Love Noel, goes and gets her own home run. Wow. There's your four. It's 10 7. We've got a ball game still, but the seventh inning stretch. I want the See, we let him talk a little longer that time. All right, let's go. Bottom of the seventh. It's still 10-7. Top of the eighth. Corey Tobias in back out there. Six six out specialist? Perhaps. Thank you for doing clips. They're a little different this go around because we're just kind of looking at what the end results already are. Appreciate that. All right, Rackamonis. Three more runs for Pittsburgh to make it 13-7. Uh, let's see. So we had some moving around. Lynn Daly comes into second. Roy Stewart over to third. Tyler Bradshaw there. Solo home run for Bracamonis. And then Bill Parker follows up. I tell ya. It's beast mode for Bracamontis. Yishishmaka got a double. Frankenstero got a single to score him. To score the guy whose name is most likely to be Yogurt. Uh, and then that was it. So because it's not close anymore, we'll quick Sema. And it stays 13-7, your final. If Ismail Bracamonis is not the player of the game on this one, then OOTP absolutely smokes some massive crack when it tries to figure out who the player of the game is. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. See? All right. So, uh, on Montreal, you had three batters with multi-hit games, 10 hits on the day total. Uh, Wally Oliver had a two for four with uh, two home runs and three RBI. Tyler Bradshaw, two for five with a homer and two RBI. And then Joe Lynch was two for four with a run batted in. For Pittsburgh, you had four players with three hit days. Punk, three for four with a homer and two RBI for Jeff Rock and Stero. Bill Parker was three for four with uh, two RBI. Uh, and then uh, Patrick Hart was three for four. He scored three times and had an RBI in the solo home run. But Ismael Branca Montes gets his second and third home runs of the playoffs and had 25 during Winter League action. 
I think he is a man amongst boys in this Winter League competition, to put it mildly. Eric Moreno goes six and a third, gives up six earned runs. We don't call that the Bill Doran special. He still struck out nine, though, so we'll give him his Godzilla mode credit. Corey Tobiasen, another two innings of uh, perfect work. This time he struck out four in this one. He got five in the first game. That's now nine strikeouts for Tobiasen in four innings of work. Hi, Scott. That is it in. No surprise. He's my Rock and player of the game. Oh, no. Papa Boz injured while throwing the ball. Uh -oh. Hold on. All right, sorry, I was mooted. Morning, morning and morning, all right. Or as Mr. Percy likes to say, Good morning. What's a mad? We don't know what he's mad about, but he's so mad. That's so mad. All right, let's go on. Well, hello, pretty. We're just gonna wave until we stop waving. <laughs> I win. You win? I win. I didn't realize it was a competition. I win. She ween. Did you hear that, gang? She ween. All right. Uh, no new signings. We'll check the logs. She ween. Uh, lots of signings. You gotta double check and make sure. Uh, this is probably, well, let's see, we're three days in, so that's three signings, and I see several, so we'll see. Uh, but we got more days coming, so we'll, uh, keep an eye on that. And any freak off-season injuries? Nope. Winter League, Papa Vaz, what's the story? He's got heel soreness. Nope. I could use an age joke because Papa and I are in the same range, but you know, the heels just don't work the way they used to, so no surprise. So we just need a little bit longer to be okay, but he's day-to-day -day, could still be a function in this game. Cody, if you're still here and you want to make any adjustments based on Papa's day-to-day, -day, here's his diagnosis. It will moderately affect his running. It will not affect throwing or hitting, though, so uh, let me know if you would like to make any alteration based on the injury. Uh, so we're in Winter League. Hey, do we have a day off? We do! Oh, my God. It allows us to advance. Hey! Happy Valentine's Day in 2027. Let's uh, advance another day. So we can get to day three, which could. We're now in uh, possible elimination mode as Pittsburgh has won the first two. It is so cute, isn't it? No new signings. Hey, Daniel Procopio, your price needs to come down there, bruh. Apparently. Uh, eh, real quick, let's look at what uh, the game is saying are your top free agents out there right now. So Daniel Procopio, who went 11-2 and two in a relief role two seasons ago, but then ERA almost three runs higher. Wants $14 million. I don't think anybody looking to sign that thing. Nope. They're all like, no, sir. I don't like it. Thank you. Cheers to the FKM cuppage, which, if enough people say that they want one, kitty scratches on the back, too. The wife will make some, and we can get some sent out to you. We just got to do some math. We got a math, so we can give you an idea of what the possible cost is. So uh, just send DMs if you're interested on Discord. All right, so Glaber Torres. Torres still hit 20 home runs last season, so you got to think there's some interest. 
supposedly Houston and Seattle are interested in that instance. You know what? Let me uh, get mine head out of your way so you can see these just a little bit better. Then Matt Mercer. Mercer last season pitching with Minnesota, 226 ERA and relief roll. Still asking for eight digits here per season. Don't know the length of time he's looking for. Wilder Patino was a role player. He was a role player. It says he played for Montreal. I didn't realize Montreal actually existed in 2026. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. Not Montreal. He played for Montgomery. So he was in double A. And he ballsy. He asking for almost $10 million at this moment. You want Mankata? Been in a role, uh, a limited role for quite a while now. And you go down Michael Conforto, Jorge Mateo, hell, even Chance Cisco's finally bringing down his price tag. All right, so yeah, it's kind of slim pickage. Slim pickage. No freak injuries. So over to Winter League, no freak injuries. Time to get to game number three. Uh, it's Mike Perter, so I believe that is fine from Cody's standards. It is a jist. 100%, it is a jist. There, Will. Uh, you're still doing it wrong. You need to put a space for heist and then the uh, your bet, your balls of yarn. So make sure you get it in quick before the event starts or else you do not participate. Hoo hoo ha ha ha. All right, uh, well, you know what? Why is camera making me look drunk? Anyway, so Cody said Mike Perter equals good. So he didn't say anything about Papa Vaz. Vaz is going to play right now. Ken says he's good. So we'll jump. Jump, a jump around, a jump around, jump, jump up, jump, jump, jump up and get down. Yes, speak English and speak over your tongue, Kamish. Hodgetown, home of Les Expo. And thankfully, it's above freezing because we've been here and it's 13 degrees once and snowing, wasn't it? Oh, wait, no, that was California. Jacques, Jacques, Shalak. Yes, that too. <laughs> oh, Jacques, Jacques, Jacques. He should be the uh, Montreal Expos. Uh, he should be the mascot there, right? Forget you, Pete. Bring Jacques, Jacques, Shalak. <laughs> All right, here we go. Game three. Can Montreal keep this one alive? Pittsburgh starts us off. And it's 1-0 Montreal. How do they do it? It will be a walk to Herrera to start us off. Then a K for Bennett. A K for Joe Lynch. A single for Herrera gets the runner. A single gets the runner from... Uh, oh, oh, wait. Herrera stole second base. That's why. I was going to be like, all the way from first, huh? Hmm. Pretty quick. But Alfredo Herrera stole a base while Lynch was at the plate. So runner in scoring position. The single gets the job done. Jaheim Underdue second playoff RBI. Second inning we go. Back on the board for Pittsburgh. Solo home run. Why are they walking that freaking guy? Holy crap. What's that like? Three million home runs in Winter League? One one still. He's coming up this inning. It's like, it's almost automatic if he comes up. Well, this time it's not Bracamontes. It is that punk. That punk J.R. Frankenstero. Punk 42 gets another home run. It is two to one Pirates. That's Punk's second home run of the playoffs. 4-2 as the Expos come back. 
Brian Warren had struck out. Tyler Bradshaw struck out. Keep this in uh, grounded out. Excuse me. Keep this in mind. Two outs. Don Kuhn with a homer. Irving Hart with a single. Herrera singles, getting runners to first and third. Spike Bennett doubles to score Hart and Herrera to make it four to two. New pitcher came in to Eric Miller in that inning. Top five. Oh my, six, four. It's like you know you're going to hit the button and you know there's going to be some big fireworks. Patrick Hart walked. Leonard singled. Runners at first and second. Papa Vaz will single. Sore heel and all to get a uh, runner scored from second. Brett Andrews struck out. There's your first out. Castagnosi works a deep count. Fouls a few off. Gets a single to load the bases. Bill Parker also works deep. He had five foul balls in his at-bat. He will single, scoring Leonard. That got bases still loaded. Bracamonis did strike out, but Frankenstero, once again, another one. He scores two in that one. Three RBI today for Punk, and it is now 6-4. Sixth inning done. It is 6 4 Pittsburgh to the seventh. Stays 6 4. Seventh inning stretch. I was born to love you. Hey, well, we let him sing a little bit longer this time. Charles Jameson comes in for Pittsburgh here to kind of maintain the lead. He will do that. 6-4. John Doxakis. I don't always get on the mound. But if I send a picture there, I prefer John Doxakis. Throw strikes, my friend. It'll be 6-4. Apparently, he threw strikes. Hey, guess who comes in? No surprise. He got a day off. So, Corey Tobias in with four innings and nine strikeouts here. Two saves to his credit. Bottom of the eighth. Well, they make him a little human on that one as they will get a run. Uh, lots of defensive changes here. A ground out, a fly out. So with two outs, you walk Harlan Vokey. A single puts two on. Spike Bennett singles to score Vokey. And it's 6-5. Top nine. Faith Leonard and Papa Vaz do up. Stays 6-5. Justin Sharp. Sharpie's coming in. He will try to button this one down. This could be a series ender here. So we'll go live. Jaheim Underdo. 4-5-6 batters do up. Underdo's 2-2 two for two with an RBI today. He waits on an 0-1 pitch with the shift on. It'll be lined into right field. Just past the diving attempt for the base hit. Frankenstero moved uh, or uh, went over for it. Andrews dove but couldn't get it. Underdue is ahead. Winning run at the plate in the form of Nutsy Poo, Logan Nutsman. First pitch he sees grounded to second. Frankenstero gets it. He will play it safe. He will throw out Nutsman as Underdue will get to second. So with a runner in uh, the tying run now at second. One out. Brian Warren is your batter. Warren 0 for 4 today. A 3-2 pitch. He will strike him out. Oh no, that's his fifth strikeout today. It's a 98 mile an hour sinker. And if you get five strikeouts on the day, there's only one sound you deserve to hear. Two outs. Tyler Bradshaw trying to not uh, to avoid the sweep here. 0 for 4. The 2-2 two, two pitch. Pops it up. 
J.R. Frank and Stero calls for it coming all the way in from short. Bad heel and all. Papa Vaz will make the catch. And the Pittsburgh Pirates will sweep the Winter League playoff or the finals and win the best of five series in three games. Congrats to Cody Koshin and his Pittsburgh Pirates. They will win $5 million for their success, but definitely not to be outdone. The expansion expos get all the way to the end. They will win $3.5 million. That has to give management a big positive, a big confidence boost on what might be coming here in the not too distant future. Yeah, I mean, what do you do if it's not Bracamonas? It can be Frankenstero. Even Yastrzemski's in a good spot. Patrick Hart has done damage. He had 571 with three homers in the playoffs. Bill Parker had two home runs and a 458 average. So, I mean... Uh, Punk, yes, the answer to your question is I am awarding boosts per player. So, if you have multiple players and you write about them, they do get their own separate boosts. But those boosts are exclusive. I re keep track. So I tell you, you can't take boost on player A that are article specific and invest them on player B. They must exclusively invest in the player you write about. But yes, multiple players uh, for, uh, for our non-GMs, they can write stories about themselves and get credit for those players. Sharpie was a champion in Winter League and the CCP Festival. So there you guys go. Boom. All right. So I will advance the die. Ay -ay. We'll get back to winter, uh, to EMLB. All right. So there's no boss battle. Oh, I didn't even notice. I just saw everybody jumping on in. Won't, might not be time. For the boss battle. Who knows? It's going to be a shorter show today, gang, because it went three. It got swept. Savages! Yay! Yes, we is. All right. No new signings. Uh, let's see. Some claims. Look at those angels stealing people off of KC. It's like KC actually has some deep talent. All right, so here's uh, the deal. Uh, well, first, let's check injuries. Nope, no injuries. All right, so here's the deal. I am asking all teams to now empty Winter League. Winter League is officially done. And by declaration, which will be in writing, by declaration, all players must vacate Winter League and you cannot have players land there at all. I think I will change Winter League to be a higher level than where it is so that players don't default in there. Uh, and just to make sure, I don't want them defaulting into Winter League. So basically, now that Winter League is over, I declare it closed. Trades with Winter League players are now once again open. I have some trades to do. So I have at least two more trades I have to review before I send a file out. So a file will probably be out closer to noontime uh, than now. But for now, here's where we are. Um, I will be announcing in the Discord. So for those of you not in the Discord and want to know when we next are back in live, you'll want to join us there. That's where the full EMLB experience can be found, including all these trades that I'm announcing. Um, so join us there. We'd love to have you, especially if you'd like us to start telling your virtual player story. Um, so again, we are working on creating a schedule. We have backup schedules available to us, courtesy of the OOTP community. But Anju is very intent that he can build a better mousetrap. We're letting him do that. But the clock is short. It has to be done. 
before preseason spring training begins. We're 12 sim days away. So here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm stopping here on the 16th. I will sim f unless Anju gets the, tri uh, the tr schedule done and completed. I am planning to sim four days to buy him no more than three days to get it done. It must be completed before. It just, it, it's, it's a mess. It, it, it's, I, it's one of those that I don't know if I trust it. And I'd rather, Aju wants to put some TLC into it and feels he can, that I'm open to doing that. That's fine. Uh, but again, we have several options. Yeah, don't trust the auto schedules at all. I'm kind of inclined to do that. We've never used the auto schedules in it with the exception of Winter League. I mean, it can't screw up when you only have one game scheduled against each other. 32 teams, so you play every opponent once. It just won't create a proper format. All past seasons of EMLB before the expansion were done on past schedules. We would rotate the schedule, like use the 2017 schedule, then the 18 schedule, then the 19 schedule. I screwed it up one year, so you face the same divisions twice, but that's the whole idea. Auto schedules end up giving you Houston versus Cubs for the last series of the season. Well, it wouldn't be bad. But... Anyway, so we're trying to put some TLC into it. Right now, expect that we will sim four days for tomorrow night. There will be no stream. I am not even expecting to do a stream on Tuesday. We might not actually be back until either Wednesday or Thursday this week coming. So we're working on that. It's that little lull after Winter League's done. The preseason is almost over. Spring training is almost here. I'm not the biggest fan of spring training, but we'll still put some focus on it for a few sims. But we're trying to get to opening day, which is not far away. And we want to have a schedule to share with you so we can start putting our broadcast content ready. We are ready for the regular season to start. Cannot wait. That will be lots of fun. All right, gang. So with that, I will go offline in a moment here. Let's see who we going to. Nope, wrong place. Where are we going? Uh, let's see. Coach Play is doing NCAA football. Nausicaa Gamer is doing Overwatch. Kava's doing perfect team playoffs. No drops from what I remember. Would you connect? Dang it. Yeo. Who the frig is Yeo? Who is Yeo and why do I... Yeah, I, I don't know who Yeo is. But I see he's playing someone right now called uh, Plakata SD. He's friends with Papa. Uh, you know what? You know what? Why not? He's a fellow Twitch partner. I know Mineral, uh, Minerva said uh, Coach Player Akava. If Kava had drops, it'd be an automatic. But um, at this point, it's kind of uh, uh, whoever to throw it to. So at this point, why not? Let's uh, go say hello to a new friend. If he's a friend of Papa Vaz, that's got to be a good thing. So Cody, be sure to help us lead the charge. But let's get the freak out of here before the commercials come back. You know, those scums. Back to the litter box. I'm going to getting ninjas to assassinate. And you're looking at their victim. So next time I can find some glue and tape, I'll put my head back on straight and we'll be back in front of you. That will be a little later this week. Stay tuned to both our, twin, our Twitter 
as well as our Discord to know when our next broadcast will be. Gang, thanks a bunch. Winter League is officially over. It's been fun. It's time to get to the stuff we most love, which is getting back to the real thing. Spring training right around the corner from Spring Training Ballpark. And we'll get it all going soon. Commission LB reminding you how you think directs your life when you think your best. You're going to be your best. So please, go and do your best, gang. We will see you soon. We hope. Peace. You jackass. <laughs>